welcome guys on our KLKS tutorial. So our topic for today is all about appending of records or basically known as adding of records, updating of records or we call it editing of records and we do have deleting or removing of records. So let's start with our demonstration. KLKS na tayo. For cable books and students. So I will be using the design view. O, tips muna bago tayo pumunta sa ating topic for today. Kung gusto nating palitan ng ating field name, the best station is to edit it on our design view. So, assuming, instead of total, I will be using quantity. Okay, so that's it. And at the same time, kung gusto naman natin ilipat ang position ng ating field name, and the best din gawin, gawin to sa design view natin. Assuming, etong quantity gusto natin ilipat, uh, right after the year publish so all we have to do is to click the row for quantity then drag it on the desired position after year publish so drag lang natin siya so that's it okay next in line so if we wanted also to delete a field name so wala naman ding kaso so as uh, at ang papalitan natin na, na field name o ang i-delete natin na field name ay naka-primary key. So, ibig sabihin, dapat ay maghanap tayo ng ipapalit natin primary key. So, ipalit natin ang primary key para sa book name. So, primary key natin ay book name. Then, let us try to delete our book hashtag. So, click lang din natin yung row. Right click natin yung mouse. Then, delete rows. Then, yes lang. So, automatic uh, nakapag- edit na tayo field names at nakapag-delete na rin tayo ng field name natin. Nakapag-change na rin tayo ng position ng ating field name. Okay, so punta na tayo sa datasheet B. So, start na tayo sa topic natin for today. is all about SQL appending of records. So, paano nga ba mag-append ng records? So, Microsoft Access allows users to add records in table using insert statement. Normally, only one row is inserted at a time. Okay, so how to use insert into? So, we will be needing the table name to accept the value using insert into. And for the values, it will be a set of field name depending on the table. So, paano ba gamitin ang insert into? So, since ang default ng insert into ay table name, so ibig sabihin, we have to identify the table name of our database. So, we will be using table 1 as our table name. Next in line, we do have the values. So, there are two things to consider in identifying the values or basically known the sets of field name for the values. So, apat yung field names mo. So, expected na apat din yung laman ng values mo. That is the first thing. So, from our example, we do have four different values. 18, Uy Andrea, 90, and Pass. Okay, next in line. After considering the number of field names, we have also to take consider the data type of that field names. On the first field name, the data type is number. So, we are expected to give a number. The second data type is a text. So, in other words, ang kailangan natin ibigay ay text. Together with that third, that is number, the fourth, that is text. So, how to differentiate a text from a number? If it is in the number data type, all you have to do is to type the number. If it is of the text data type, you have to use double quote or to simply differentiate a text from a number. Okay, so for our demonstration, let us use the table books. So, let us first identify. So, we do have seven different field names with their different data types. So, paano ba natin ma-check ang data type natin? By simply looking at our table. So, by default, lahat ng data type na naka-declare as number ay naka-write justify siya. At lahat ng data type na naka-declare as text naka-left justify siya. Para ma-double check natin, so punta lang tayo, tapatan lang natin yung field name na gusto natin na malaman kung ano talaga yung data types niya. Then, punta tayo sa menu of our fields. 
So, ito yung data types niya. Number. So, para sa title, short text. Sa author, that is short, short text. Year publish. Okay. So, ito sila lahat. So, let us go na with our first topic which is appending of records. So, since it is SQL, so create tayo using query design. Then, we will be using books. So, using SQL view. I-arrange yeah, muna natin ang select and from. Pero later, para makita natin yung output, syempre, babalikan natin ang basic SQL which is the select and from. So, we will be using insert into. So, ang ginamit natin na table name ay books. From our table books, so ang una natin kailangan na field name para sa values natin ay book number. So, assuming I will be using 1,000. First, let's try to count the total number of field names. By the way, comma, separated the sets of field names. Uh, from our discussion earlier, the number of field names also identify the number of values. So, try natin kung sakaling kulang ang ating field name na declare kung ano yung error message na uh, ia-alert ng Microsoft Access. So, yung error alert. So, number of query values and destination fields are not the same. So, ibig sabihin, kulang tayo ng field name base sa field name na meron ang table na ginagamit natin. So, assuming naman, mali yung pagkakadeclare ng field name. So, ano naman yung error niya? So, ito naman yung error niya. So, meron daw mali na field name that is new. Kasi, ina-expect niya na field name yung new dahil wala siyang double quote. Kulang tayo. Okay. So, tama na lahat ng values natin base sa number of field names at base sa data types niya. Na kung number, we have to type the number. Kung text siya, we have to use double quote para sa value ng text. So, run natin. So, ito yung output niya. So, meron siyang alert ulit. You're about to append one row. By the way, append means to add. You are about to add one row. Once you click yes, you can use the undo command to reverse the changes. Are you sure you want to append the selected rows? So, click lang tayo ng yes dahil gusto natin ma-add yung values na tinight natin. Okay, yes. Then, para makita natin kung kasama na siya sa output, so, burahin natin yung insert into values natin asterisk style. Select, select asterisk from books. Okay. Run natin. So, asan na yung, ito yung, ito na yung dami natin. So, 1,000. So, by default, ina-arrange niya ascendingly bahay sa book number o sa primary key. So, naka-add na tayo. So, add pa tayo ng panibago. So, rename natin to.
kay Sol, our last topic is Sol about delete. Pero let me just remind you that uh, the procedure delete is no longer accepted in the information technology world. So, what is accepted is the word archive, wherein records can be restored anytime. So, tignan natin kung ano ba talaga ang effects ng deletion sa records natin. Uh, let us try to delete books with the status of old old books so let us go now with the sql so ang syntax ng delete ay delete from books so pag delete natin to at nag run tayo o lahat ay magbubura so lahat will be erased so in other words hindi pa pwedeng gumamit yan tayo ng delete So, we will be setting a condition where status is equal to old. Okay, so run natin. Okay, that's all for our tutorial. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something. See you on our next tutorial.